We've come a long way since early man lived in caves. We've sought to build better homes and buildings and improve our own way of living. Throughout time, this level of development has meant a need to find ways of sharing our ideas, of sharing what we wanted to build so that others could help. That meant the birth of technical drawings. As we progress through time, drawings have become more detailed, sharing more than just ideas. They started to include finer details like measurements, fixing types, joints and weights. The humble drawing started to become more than just a canvas to express an idea. It became the vehicle for conveying the finite design for a given detail. As CAD arrived with the first computers, this level of detail was able to become even more accurate. Today, these 2D models have become 3D, allowing the user to move the design around and even walk through it. The basis for the modern construction market is to design a building and then develop a product specification to ensure you get what you design. That also includes cost analysis and clause specifications. This takes time and encompasses a whole host of drawings, paperwork and spreadsheets and is very difficult to share. So what is the effect this has? Well, when comparing our methods of working through time, you'll find that we used to be forced to speak to each other. Computers did not exist and in order to progress a project, people would meet on site and work together. They would collaborate naturally. Then, with the birth of the digital age came email time pressures, and people stopped talking, forming mini silos and relying on the drawings to convey the detail. As you might expect, this resulted in mistakes, poor efficiencies and most projects running over in both time and money. BIM, or Building Information Management, is designed to bring back the missing element of communication along with a focus on detail and accuracy to minimize waste. In short, to bring back the collaboration whilst utilizing the benefits of the new technologies. BIM does this because it's designed to minimize wastage, to make everything more streamlined and efficient, and eliminate the need to do things twice. Recognized by the UK government in 2016, which spent a huge £44 billion a year on construction, the government wanted to improve efficiencies and get the most for the spend. The savings targeted equate to a saving of £9 billion for reinvesting back into construction each and every year, further preparing us for the population boom and the infrastructure needs of the future. We're currently operating at a BIM Level 2, the level mandated by the government for all projects since March 2016. This means we have 3D computer models which carry all the information about the building, that it includes all of the elements about maintenance, fixing methods, warranty contacts and certifications. In fact, all of those documents we mentioned earlier are included in the information within this new computer model, meaning anything anyone needs to know about any given element of the project can be extracted from the model and that the model could be used to aid the facilities management of the building in the future. BIM Level 3 is for the future, when all things become connected through the Internet of Things, when projects and buildings will be managed from the original computer model, meaning that through BIM, buildings are designed for performance through their entire life cycle, from construction all the way through to deconstruction. So what does that mean for you? Today, it's business as usual, or is it? So let's look forward into the future and follow an example of what could happen. Imagine, Garside Developments are building a new estate. This new development has been designed in BIM. This model will know exactly what is needed and the process of construction. It will connect automatically with local merchants to find the best, most suitable location for supply to the site and it will place an order for the required products. The roofer will be instructed to provide roofing services and will arrive on site to fit the products on the instructed day. In the background, the computer monitors the project. It knows the order was placed with Merchant 1, but on this particular day an accident occurred and the roads between the merchant and the site are extremely congested. Because the computer is connected to everything by the Internet of Things, it will know the state of the roads so it will be able to reroute the order to another merchant, which can reach the site much quicker than fighting the traffic and keep the work on schedule. This might sound far-fetched, but today, through the use of GeoBIM, the models are becoming increasingly more aware of the local region and the conditions surrounding the project sites. Cars will soon be driving themselves, so maybe orders will be delivered by driverless transport. Technological advancements like this clearly change how we operate as an industry. Merchants need to be aware of the coming changes so they can establish open network connections and allow the placing of orders on stock. For the roofer, it means working as skilled labor, delivering a quality service and being ready to adapt the changing needs of the project. But this is just one possibility. The reality can still be shaped and molded 
And for those willing to engage early enough, they can see new ways of working, opening up new opportunities and delivering early commercial advantage. BIM is already here. It's changing the way you work today. The question is, how quickly will it continue to change in the future? And more importantly, are you ready for it?